I'm Mary Beth Johnson. I'm a chef de cuisine and executive pastry chef, and I'm going to show you how to make an olive antipasta. First, we want to start with a variety of mixed olives. You can use any kind of French olives, Spanish olives, cured olives. It's really up to you. I have whole garlic cloves that have been marinating in a little bit of olive oil and some basil. I have a little bit of red wine vinegar. Then I have olive oil. I have artichokes. I have caramelized onions, roasted red peppers. Here's the variety of olives. Cherry peppers, sweet. Pepperoncini. And this is how we're going to make an olive antipasta. So first, we want to take some olives, a mixture of them, and we put them onto a larger platter, which is what I'm doing now. Then I want to take the artichokes. It's, it's great to have it already lined up, ready for use. That way you don't have to rush around, try and find the ingredients that you need. And it's just putting it all together. I have roasted red tomatoes, cherry peppers, pepperoncini, and then I want to take my seasonings. There's your garlic. I've got the red wine vinegar, and I'm going to mix it with about a fourth of a cup of olive oil. I don't want to pour it over it because a lot of these items are, have already been marinating in olive oil that you buy. I just want to drizzle it over the olives and the other ingredients for the antipasta. Dried Italian seasoning. A little bit of salt. It depends on whether or not your olives have been cured in salt or if they've been sitting in brine. Uh, and a little bit of pepper because you don't want to make it too salty. And you just want to mix it together. And I kind of like a large platter, not filled to the brim, but so that you can see the items that are on there. Just a little bit more olive oil for a prettier plate presentation. And this is how you make an olive antipasta. I'm Chef Mary Beth, Chiridiamo Dopo.